For a long time I was thinking to try out the pen turning but was delaying the process. Finally I got like a bunch of pen turning kits on Amazon and decided to, to give it a try. I also have like a very nice piece of Cuban mahogany. It's gonna be a very interesting pen and this is one of the, actually one of the results that already. Very interesting, very nice. So let me try. <laughs> A while back I got a tiny lathe with intention to make some small stuff like pens, but haven't actually got to use it until now. For the pen blanks I decided not to buy them because I had this nice piece of spalted Cuban mahogany and it looked like a perfect uh, for a few pens. So here we go. Preparing the blank by cutting to the piece and one thing that I made a mistake here is the dimensions. Somehow I got an idea that for the blank it should be one by one inch which in reality is about four times that it's actually needed. So next time I'll try with the half inch blanks. After prepping the blank and squaring one side on a shooting board it's time to drill a barrel. Uh, <laughs> kind of unexpectedly this required me to get a special seven millimeter bit. I decided to get a good one which costed me about 20 bucks. Uh, you could drill by hand but I don't trust myself too much so I use a drill press so I'm very confident about the angle. As always be careful and use safety gear and use dedicated vise or something like a bit clamp. I had a few accidents before so I'm using it. After that you need to glue the barrel from the kits. Epoxy would be the best here but I didn't want to wait until it cures so I kind of cheated with the super glue. Maybe a mistake in the long run but for this first attempt uh, it should be good enough. Uh, well after that still not ready for turning. Wow the amount of steps required before I can actually turn a pen is ridiculous I would say. Apparently you also need to trim the ends of wood so it's exactly perpendicular to the barrel and ideally you would need the barrel trimmer uh, which I already ordered but is still not delivered. So I tried to improvise using a disc sander. This wasn't very precise but kind of did the job of sanding. And finally turning. <laughs> uh, so as long as you can figure out how to use the pen mandrel. But even for the first time it wasn't that hard. Uh, the only problem I have encountered is the blend kept stalling and I had to re-tighten the mandrel. Not sure whether it's me, the mandrel, probably me, I did something wrong. But in any case after the blank became relatively round it was turning well. Initially I started with the roughing gouge and you can reduce with the roughing gouge material very very quickly. And after I got close to the shape I decided to try my skew. After a few recent practices I felt a bit more confident that I can get a nicer surface from the skew than from the gouges. <laughs> And it didn't take long to finish turning uh, and be ready to apply the finishing touches. So the first is sanding. I wasn't actually sure which grid to start as after the skew the surface was already very nice and shiny. I ended up using 240 grit which actually dulled the surface but it removed the various imperfections after the skew. I'm kind of still learning after all. What is important here is to sand also with the grain. On my previous project I actually forgot to do that and the circle of scratches are actually quite visible even though I went to an extremely high grit. I think I went to 3000 grit and did wax polishing. So for this one I didn't forget and iterated the cross grain and the with the grain uh, with a 320, 400 and 600 grit. I cleaned up the dust with a paper towel and declared it done. Now I watched quite a bit videos on pen finishes uh, and super glue finish or CA glue finish seemed to be the easiest or at least the version of it so I decided to try. I only have one box store super glue and I went to just six coats sending up to 3000 grit after the third and the final coat. It ended up actually quite nice but for the fun of it I also applied the automotive headlight polish. It just happened to have it uh, and I get an idea as a replacement for the plastic polish that a lot of people on YouTube recommend to use. I probably overshoot with the amount and may not use the right application but I think it polished quite a bit and gave me really, really nice shine. And that's basically it. After a few guesses I was able to assemble the pen just using my bench vise. You can actually buy a pen press uh, if you're making a lot of pens it would be easier. But you can do it without. And that's it. Uh, this was my first pen. Honestly not super perfect so I learned a little bit of lessons. But looking quite good and professional. Maybe not perfect. As I said there's a few hiccups here and there. But for the first attempt perfect. 
Thank you for watching, like the video and subscribe to my channel. So see you in next video.